Developing tonight, there's newly released documents on a Fountain Hills teen who is believed to be a terrorist. The new information sheds light on the teen who pledged his allegiance to ISIS before being shot by a Maricopa County Sheriff's deputy in January. Now this body cam video shows 18 year old Ismail Hamid being shot outside of Maricopa County Sheriff's substation near his Fountain Hills home after he threw rocks at a deputy and brandished a knife. Hamid was charged with multiple counts, including terrorism and aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer with a deadly weapon. Team 12's Mike Gonzalez spent the day looking through a nearly thousand page documents and he has more on what authorities found. For months now, 12 News has been asking the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office and the FBI how and why 18-year-old Ismail Hamed got to this point. Shot twice and subsequently charged as a terrorist after walking to an MCSO substation near his Fountain Hills home, demanding to see a deputy while pledging his allegiance for ISIS. I'm owing my allegiance to the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. So I'd, like, I'd like to see cops. Do you have any weapons on you? Yes, I have a couple rocks and a knife. MCSO and the FBI releasing nearly 1,000 pages of evidence as to why Hamed is being charged as a terrorist. That included everything from text messages saying life without jihad is meaningless. And yet another one, he tells a friend watch Osama bin Laden's holy war. Then there were YouTube videos found on his electronic devices with links to radical clerics. Hamed also wrote about Omar Mateen, the man responsible for the Orlando Pulse nightclub shooting that massacred 49 people in 2016. Other disturbing transmissions included conversations about jihad and Osama bin Laden. Hey. Authorities say it all ultimately led up to this. Ismail Hamed, a lone wolf radicalized on social media, being shot by a deputy twice, but surviving his attack on law enforcement. And a trial date has been set for sometime in mid-October. 12 News has reached out to Hamed's attorney for further comment. He has not returned our calls at this point. Guys, we'll send it back over to you.